All right, what we are gonna do in this last video is we are going to kind of finalize this reflection and then just shrink down the whole document if we need to, to kind of make it fit our sheet of paper that's just kind of floating in the background here. Now, I haven't been worried that my stuff is kind of stuck on that sheet of paper, so I'll fix that later. Anyway, what I wanna do now, I wanna turn off the buildings layer so I'm just looking at my reflection. What we are gonna do is we are gonna create something that's called a mask. It won't make total sense to you right now, but we'll use it a lot in Photoshop. It'll make more sense later. I don't want to kind of confuse and overwhelm you right now. So I'm going to put a rectangle right on top of that building reflection. I want to set the colors to be black and white like I have, and I want the white to be at the top fading to black at the bottom. The white areas are going to show up, so the whiter something is, the more it's going to show up. As we fade down to black, the things are going to be less and less visible. So what I want to do now is I want to select not only this rectangle that I created, but also the reflection of those buildings down below. So what I'm going to do is in my layers, I'm going to click this entire reflection layer right here. So if I even close this, it's a little easier to see. I click right there. Now that's selected everything. Then what I'm going to use is the transparency window. If you don't see it, you can go to window transparency. And what I need to do is in this little breakout menu, I'm going to go make opacity mask. Now I have that little rectangle that I made at the top and I go make opacity mask and it uses that rectangle at the top to kind of fade this away. Now if I turn on the buildings you can kind of see the effect that I'm getting. If I need to change this at all, if I want it to be maybe a little bit lighter up here where the buildings are, I can click on this mask in the transparency window and all I'm going to do is modify the gradient. So if I go to my gradient tool here, you can kind of see what's happening. It's fading from white to black down here. Maybe I want to see a little less of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white and I'm going to change that to a little bit more of a gray. So I'm going to go to gray scale just so it's easier to do this. And I'm going to kind of slide that over a little bit. And as I make that more and more gray, I see less of this object. Now if I want to have this disappear more, I can kind of move the black a little further over. I can play with what angle. I have this kind of fading, so maybe you want to see more of one side than another. You just kind of got to trust your eyes on this and um, just kind of play around. So depending on how you want your reflection to look, that will allow you to change it. I kind of personally like on mine a little bit of an angle like that. So once I'm done doing that, now I am ready to go ahead and shrink everything down. So what I'm going to do is highlight. Oops. I have to go back to here so I get back to my normal layer. So I'm getting out of this mask now and I'm going to take both the building and the reflection layer. So I'm holding shift while I click on both these. And now I'm going to scale these down while I hold shift just to keep everything in proportion. And I'm just going to keep doing that until it fits on my sheet of paper. Now in my case, I could flip-flop the paper if I want. Now if I wanted to do that, if I click on the artboard tool right here, I can change the shape of my paper. Depending on how yours looks, you may need your paper to run one way or the other. So that fits fairly nicely. So now I'd be done this thing, I'd be ready to do safe for women devices. Good luck.